What's going on guys? Today doing another video for you uh, and we're going to be doing some more Durango stuff. Uh, more so fixing what's wrong with the Durango. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to start off by apologizing. My voice is not super great coming off having a bit of a cold here. So bear with me. But uh, even though it snowed today and good old Saskatchewan, uh, we got to get this fixed. Turns out it's a common problem on these Dodge Durangos and other Dodges, I guess. But my blower motor quit on the way to work the other day, and we're gonna figure out why. I already looked into what it could be, and we're gonna go over those today. So I already pull, pulled the blower motor out. Pretty simple, I'm just gonna go over it while it's out. Basically you have this electrical plug. You have to pull off, just connects, pull that out, then you can get it easier. And then you have to, on the other end, there's a uh, spot for your thumb, so you can press it, it'll release, you just pull it apart done and then you have three eight mil screws that you have to undo there was only one holding this in which makes sense why these uh, why this fan has some damage to it and it simply goes up in there so once you drop it you'd get the idea of what to uh, do from there but yeah undo this connector here slide it off three eight mils drop it down carefully pull it out so I pulled that out because there's one other thing we're going to check today, but I pulled this out because it was making noise in the first place and I want to figure that out why. This makes sense. Also, the fact that this is electrical taped before I got this thing makes me a little concerned. So pulled this out. We're going to do some tests on it as well. Next thing to check is I guess there is a resistor in here that goes right there. And I guess this resistor is pretty common to actually burn out. So we're gonna pull that out, take it apart, have a look at the pins, see if there's any burn marks or not. So I just, just pulled that out now. Another eight mil screw. Again, should be two, just one. A little bit concerned about that as well, but let's take a look at it, see what it looks like. So with this, you have to undo this lock, which is just simply you slide it to one side. Then you can lift, pushing in your thumb here. Uh, this sometimes gets jammed up, so it's hard to lift to get over the lock. I usually stick, I'll stick a pick in the end and just kind of help it up so it can get over that, that little lock and slide freely. So when I was working on this though, I see right here, one wire is melted, which uh, makes me worried. And if we look on this side, if you see, boom, one of those pins burnt up. That's our issue, resistor let go. So all black and nice in there. So now I'm gonna have to go ahead, order a new resistor and that, uh, that, that plug plus a little bit of the harness, splice it in, make it new, and then we can get this fixed. But we're gonna have to wait on parts now. So let's let the magic happen. Alrighty. So one day later, got my new resistor here, old one there, and the new harness end with wires. I'm going to, off camera, figure out how these push into here. I'm assuming it's pretty simple, but I'm gonna figure that out. And then I'm going to do the, hey, you mind? <laughs> and then I'm gonna do uh, basically quick connectors and just ghetto it and do some shrink wrap and that should be good enough for this end. And then on the Durango, we'll cut the old harness off, do the same thing, and that should work. Okay, so I got this together. I snapped it together. These just simply pushed in. Uh, it, there was, if you tried one way, it would work, and you'd hear a click, another way it wouldn't work, so it's pretty self-explanatory. And you have two different sizes of wires. I'm not sure exactly what gauge they are. This was uh, thicker, and that's how the harness was, so I went all green. Uh, purple ones I didn't need. So I clicked them and then I took this, took my flashlight, had a look on the inside, made sure that they were pushed all the way through. And I decided since I was at it, I may as well just connect this as well. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna do is put my ends onto here and uh, then we can go ahead and go out to the Durango, snip off the old connector, put the ends on that and hopefully have it all connected. So definitely not pretty by any means, ghetto. Super ghetto, but that's the way I do it. I'm cheating and doing it the simple way. And I put my heat shrink there. 
So Chibi and I are just connecting them from the picture I took of this before I cut it. Uh, and then line it up with this, how it's supposed to be. That should be it, and then I should be able to put the shrink wrap over, and life should be just dandy. Then we can try the fan. I do have to buy some more uh, screws, though, because yesterday I found out that there's only one holding the fan and one holding the the uh, resistor. So, but anyways, we can get this done today. So, like I said, super duper ghetto. I uh, haven't shrink wrapped or heated them up to shrink it, but I have it sitting here. I'm gonna hook up the fan and uh, we'll just run it on the floor here and I'll show you guys that it actually works. She's hooked up. Now if I go to my controller and I hit low speed, look at that, low speed, medium, higher, higher. Mint, works beautifully. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna finish shrink wrapping, heat that up and I'll put the uh, resistor back in its place. We'll go buy some more screws and get this put in place and that should be it for this. Got her all wrapped up. So I actually managed to find a couple more eight mil screws. So I got all three there in uh, the blower motor. And then I just zip tied up right there, my new loom. And I found two more screw. I found a screw, a wood screw. I was like, screw it, that'll work. And then the other one. So now this all works. It works 100% like it should. Blows hot air, no noises. This is now secured, that's secured. So, fingers crossed, there shouldn't be any more issues, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video really fast because it's friggin' cold here in Saskatchewan this week. Uh, but I hope this kind of helped you guys. Uh, one thing I did do that I didn't show on camera or talk about was I did actually bench test my blower motor to make sure it was working before we went ahead and did the uh, just the resistor. Um, so I tested it, it worked good, that wasn't the problem. To the resistor so thing to look out for turns out these resistors are pretty common went to napa they had the parts they had the pigtail they had everything so yeah i hope that helps you guys and i hope it's uh an okay diy thanks for watching have a great day